Today I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu 22.04 long-term support on VirtualBox. That way you can test it out and try it on your Windows computer. First off, launch VirtualBox. That way you can create a new virtual machine. You'll create this by typing in a name for the new machine you're creating. I'm just going to call it Ubuntu 22.04 for now. I'm going to place the virtual machine in a folder that I'm okay having it in. This is fine for me. I'm going to select type to be Linux and version Ubuntu 64 since we're installing the 64-bit version of Ubuntu. Then I'm going to hit next and following that I'm going to give some memory here for the virtual machine to use. Now this is going to take away from your host computers meaning the Windows computers memory pool so make sure that you select something that your system is capable of giving away. So 8 gigs out of my 32 gigs is plenty make sure that you at least have two gigs or more. Otherwise, it might not run so smoothly. I'm gonna hit next once I have that selected and I'm going to create a virtual hard disk now. When I hit create, that's going to ask me what format do I want that virtual hard disk file to be in. I'll do the standard virtual box disk image VDI file and hit next. Following that dynamically allocated is perfect because the virtual hard disk file on the host system will only fill up as it grows. That way it's not going to take up a bunch of space unnecessarily until it finally needs that space. So dynamically allocated is usually the best thing to select. After that, tell the system how much you want to dynamically allocate. So I'm going to put 160 gigs for myself. You can put more or less depending on what you want. Just know that it's not going to take up the full 160 right away because we selected dynamically allocated. Then you can hit create and we're well on our way. Smash that like button for me because we're about to set things up with the new virtual machine selected. Make sure to go into settings. We're going to have to go through a few things in here before we can get the system running like we want. In basic, you should see Ubuntu type Linux, Ubuntu 64 bit in advanced you can choose whether you want to share the clipboard and drag and drop between the host system, meaning Windows system, and Ubuntu. Some people might want to use this. This is where you enable that. I'm going to keep that off and go to system. In system, I'll actually put two cores for emulation with this virtual machine. If you can't give that much, one core is fine. The motherboard is the next thing I want to check. I want to enable the EFI mode. This will put BIOS in a state where it's emulating for modern firmware and before long operating systems are probably all going to require this with that selected i can move on to storage which is where we select in the controller we have this empty disk we're going to put the disk in that we want to install if you need help downloading this image it's fairly easy i'll show you real quick go to ubuntu.com hit download select 22.04 lts the desktop edition and the download will begin by itself Select a place to put the download, and that's exactly the image that you will use. And with that disk image put in, we are now ready to begin installation. I'm going to hit OK, and then actually power on this Ubuntu 22.04 image by double-clicking on it, and that'll bring up this dialog. Make sure you select the proper disk from here. Although it's mounted, it makes you select the disk a second time. So I'm going to select the Ubuntu 22.04 desktop AMD 64 ISO and hit start. If things start successfully, you'll notice the screen that says try or install Ubuntu. We'll select enter on that. To go to full screen mode, you can do control F and switch over. You don't necessarily have to do that step, but just so we focus in on this, I'm going to put it in full screen so we can take a look at how to install things. In order to fix my resolution here, I'm going to try Ubuntu. And from here, you'll notice two icons, the install Ubuntu icon and the home users icon. You also have install Ubuntu on the left hand side. Just select that disk, double click on it. If you hit the install button instead, no big deal, gets you to the same place. We'll select which language we want to run the installer on. English is fine by me. Next thing you can do is select the keyboard layout that you want for your system. Make sure to test it down below in this field. And when you're ready, hit continue. The normal installation, which comes with a default web browser, some utilities, office software, games, and media players, as it says, is fine. You can also go with the minimal installation if you don't need all of that. Downloading updates while installing Ubuntu is a good idea because it saves you time. And we don't really need to install third-party software for a virtual machine, so we'll be fine by hitting continue. 
To make life easier, we can select the erase disk and install Ubuntu option. Since we just created a brand new disk for this virtual machine, there's nothing on it. So it doesn't matter if we erase the entirety of it and put Ubuntu on it. I'm going to select that option and hit install now. It's going to warn me that everything will be overwritten on the disk. I know that I have a proper one selected in the virtual machine, so I'm gonna hit continue. We'll be asked to select a time zone. So I'm going to select mine and hit continue. Make sure you select yours. Following that, we'll put in a username followed by a computer name. So I've put Savvy Nick in for me. You can put whatever you want. Just know that the computer's name is what shows up on your network for other devices to see. So pick that strategically and then choose a password. Once you have a password, confirm that password and you can go through any of these settings. The default is fine for me. I don't need active directory control or logging into the system automatically. I'm going to press continue. At this point, Ubuntu 22.04 is now installing on your virtual machine inside a virtual box that's being hosted on whatever computer you got going. Give this a few minutes to finish up installing. After that, we will restart things and fix our graphics drivers with the guest editions tools. Once Ubuntu is finished installing, you'll get this installation complete dialog. Hit the restart now button and that will tell us to remove the installation media. Just press enter. You don't actually have to remove anything. Now, if you get a critical error, it's not a big deal. It's probably a problem with the ejection of the image that we just tried doing. So we'll hit OK. Not a big deal. Just relaunch Ubuntu 22.04, the virtual machine you just got done installing by double clicking it. I'm going to switch back into that full screen mode and look at that. We can select Ubuntu from Grub or let it load automatically. This should get us into our newly installed system on VirtualBox. Awesome. We have a user, so I'll type in the user password that I created before and the system has just loaded. We get a welcome screen. We can skip through this stuff. No, I don't want to send information. Don't need location services and I'm ready to go. First things first, I'm going to go to display settings and change this to something that will run on my computer. Now, if you're missing a resolution, not a big deal. We'll fix that. How do we fix that? Well, let's make sure to go down to the bottom. And this right here is a menu for virtual box. If we click on devices, you'll notice insert guest additions CD image. After you've clicked that button, you can go over to the left hand side. You'll notice this VBox gas mine's version 6.1. I'm going to click on that CD and notice how it has. And in order to run this, if you can't get the run software to go right click and hit run as program, you'll be asked for your administrative password. I'll put that in, authenticate it, and that should start installing your modules, including drivers for VirtualBox quite quickly. I'll just zoom in on this a little bit so you can see what's going on. After things have built, you won't get any errors, but we did get an error. It says this system is currently not set up to build kernel modules. We can fix that by hitting enter and we'll open up another one of those terminals. So if we just search terminal, open that up, let me make this a little larger so we can see. This is an important tool to install on your system just because it gives you better resource usage out of your system. So first I'm going to do sudo apt update just to update my repositories, put your password in. That'll just take a few moments. After that, I'll do sudo apt install and it's called the build essential package. This will get us what we need in order to compile and hopefully fix that error that we were getting. And after that's done, go back to your CD that's mounted, right click on auto run, run that as a program, type your password in and let's see if this time we're successful. Looks like it's finally building those modules for the kernel, which is a very good sign. And this is great because it says running kernel modules will not be replaced until the system is restarted. Press return to close this window. There you go. You've now successfully installed the guest editions CD and tools. Congratulations, you have everything set up. If you need an easier way to get some drivers here for your virtual machine, if you do sudo apt install open dash VM, there's really two of them tools and then a dash desktop if you want that one instead. This is a desktop version of a virtual machine, so I would install this one. Notice it says it's already installed and that's because we've ran through things. This is if all else fails, you, you'll you at least want these tools on here. But just to keep up with the latest and greatest, we went through the CD option. That's it. Start using your 
Ubuntu 2204 desktop environment through VirtualBox in your virtual machine. You can shut down things by going to the top right and just hitting power off. That'll get you back to VirtualBox where you can manage the rest of your virtual machines. Well, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.